got me caught me out tonight haven't they little fuckers anyway you remember about a month ago i put a video on here saying about um slowing your water down your energy prices i think it's called why 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 i put on here information that i got from a good source saying about uh that potentially the way things are going that they're going to start subsidizing our electric and subsidizing our gas and everything else well it's tuesday time is it about half past eight something like that tuesday night lo and behold this is the first time i can't remember the last time that i had a power cut i can't remember that um i think it was when i lived on jenkins avenue in Ladybrook, and i think that was for around about 2000 so 20 odd year ago since i've had a power cut lo and behold tonight we've had a power cut we are we are all our street are out there's nobody on our street got electric uh, I've messaged a few people I know in local areas and that lot in man, parts of Mansfield and they haven't got electric. Of course, I've checked my fuse boxes and everything else. All that's been checked. But there's no the power's gone down. How long it's going to go down for, I don't know. I've had people come up to me and saying, oh, you know, it'll never go off. Your power will never go off. Um, it's not been off for years now. We're not, we, you know, it's not. we're not in a situation now where your power, we're going to lose power. It's happening. And it's not just happening in parts of Mansfield tonight. It's happening in parts, other parts. I've been talking to people throughout the country. I've been up to Leeds again and places like that. They're losing power. People are losing power to turn it off. How long we're going to lose our power tonight? I don't know. And lo and behold, they've caught me out. <laughs> they've caught me out. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Yeah, I've charged all my 12 volt systems up. I've had my solar panels working and charging. But lo and you know, I haven't set up my charging facilities for my phone uh my lighting i've not done any of that yet but that'll be that'll be uh, you know that'll be done tomorrow now 100 percent. so i'm actually sat in, in in my van now um charging my phone up because my phone is just about to run out so that's it we're starting i think this is going to be a start of um one or two power cuts that we're going to get so just be mindful of that whether or not you're going to listen. I've had a lot of people saying it's never going to happen. Um, they told me it was never going to happen. We'll never get a two pound a litre pet, uh, petrol. That's happened. I knew that was going to happen. Will it come down? Yeah, I believe it will. I believe in a couple of months time, the power, will, I believe it will come down. Um, electric and gas, we're going to have problems with them. We're going to have, we're going to have mega problems with electricity and gas. Um, factories are shutting down. That I know. I know a lot of people that's working in factories now that's doing three and four days a week, as opposed to five and six days a week. Um, it's not productive for them to keep operating the machinery and opening the kilns and everything wherever they work. They can't afford to keep the electric and gas on in these factories, so they're having to reduce the hours. So there you go. This is my first power cut in twenty odd years, and it's got me. It's caught me. So I haven't even got my twelve volt TV set up. I mean DVD players. So I'm gonna have to sit here, charge my my phone up for a bit, and see how long this is gonna be off for. I, I, I think it's gonna be um an hour, maybe more tonight. And I know there's other parts of where I live in Mansfield that's lost their electric tonight. I've been told that. But there's parts that's just up the street from me that still got the electric. I mean, from where I am, literally a mile away, everybody's got the electric. And there's places at the back of me that's got it. So it's only a certain area. It's just pretty much our street and a few streets around here that's got it, that's gone down. So beware, be warned. You have been warned. Um, whether you believe me or not, maybe this is just a fluke. I don't know. But maybe you're gonna have it, yours has been going off and you've not noticed. You've been waking up, your internet and your computers have gone up and stuff like that. I don't know. Be mindful of it. Things are going to get worse, whether you believe it or not. They will get worse before they get better. It's going to be a good two a, a good two years before we start getting, as a country, we start getting some sort of normality back. A good two years. Um, if, they, if they lower the tax on fuel and energy and everything else, we're going to lose it in other areas. You know, I've, I've moaned about tins, I've moaned about food, I've moaned about food prices. I've been warned by people that know what they're talking about. There you go. God bless everybody. It got me. Can't believe they caught me out. Tomorrow, tomorrow, all right? I'll be all set up. I'll have my, my TVs on 12. 
well, all my systems all got up and running. I've just not done my wiring for my system for my actual plugins and all the rest of it. So that's going to get done tomorrow. So what I'm going to do, if it's going to be off, for, I'll, I'll probably end up going to bed anyway. Past, I go to bed at half past eight, nine o'clock anyway now. So changing my time scale. Instead of going to bed late and getting up late, I go to bed early and get up at stupid o'clock in the morning, six, seven o'clock in the morning now. So, um, yeah, probably go to bed. If not, I should be sat watching my 12-volt DVD block section of Alvina's Impact. God bless everybody.